All right, we're back on Friday now, and we're gonna go ahead, get this one unmasked. We've got that three-stage job. I'm gonna prep it out, but I think I'm gonna see if I can get Patrick to spray this one. That way you guys can see him in action, see his application and technique. I'm sure it's a lot better than mine. I actually haven't seen him spray when he came here. Usually he would tell me he would spray the first job whenever he does his training, but I told him, listen, I'm the one painting. I wanna try it out. So I'd like to see him actually put it on. That way I can see how the true master does it. So that might give me some more insight on how I should really go around and do the job. So let's go ahead, get this thing unmasked, prep out the job, wait for Patrick, and hopefully shoot that three stage and have him get it all dialed in. Maybe I'll clear it with him. That way we do the job together. So check out this gloss level on this job after it's dried. This stuff does not lose any of its gloss at all. And it's uh, just phenomenal. I was telling you guys, I think it's because you put it all on at one time, all the moisture comes out of that paint and you're not reintroducing any moisture back into that job. So everything comes out nice at one time and then you do not have any dye back at all. So this stuff is phenomenal. You've got no pimples, no dry spray at the end of your blends like some of the other stuff that I've used before and uh, it's just phenomenal. So let's get this thing unwrapped. I just wanted to show you how nice the gloss is on this stuff. The next day, check out this trunklet over here. It's just got a phenomenal loss level with it. So let's get it unwrapped and uh, get rolling in this day. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get it wiped down. Everything's prepped, I did my best. I just talked to Patrick. He's uh, getting his stuff out of the car. I think it's gonna be good because he likes to use different guns as well. So I'll talk a little bit about his guns, tell you how long he's been painting, different things like that. And we'll get to see the man in action. So I'm looking forward to this one. I wanna see the veteran trainer show me how to lay out this uh, base coat. And that way I can get some more tips from him just to see how he would go about painting this. So you guys know it's one and a half coat. So getting your routine of where to start and where to finish is gonna be a lot of what this paint is about. So when you start getting more in the rhythm and you get a job like that one we did last night, you're gonna probably have the same starting point and the same end up point on most of the jobs that you do because you're gonna be in there for that one and a half coat. So I wanna see how he starts off on the bumpers. That way you get full coverage inside the holes, all around the edges and stuff like that. So let's finish wiping it and then we'll get Patrick in here and I'll show him the job. check it out I was uh, got news that we've got our signs now out front and the uh, crew is here putting these signs for the crash champions Lux EV certified so check that out guys I wanted to put it in the video we're legit 
It's official now. We're going to be crash champions here in Land O'Lakes Lux. So let's get back in there and get this thing shot. All right, the man has entered the building and I wanted to show you SADA guys out there. So Pat is a SADA guy. You got what there? Sealer gun with the 1.4 and then an RP 5500. For the base? For the base with the 130. And what do you use for the clear? Clear, I use another SADA. RP 5500. But the one, I bounce back and forth between a 1.2 and a 1.30. And you like the O rather than the I? Well, I, I used to spray the I for base coat, but uh -huh. then I tried the O and I liked it better. So, all right, I so you never see. Switch back. That's the Sada guy. I'm not a big Sada guy. They do make a heck of a gun. You guys know that for sure. And he does have the TR800 there. We're going to go ahead and get suited up. And uh, Pat's going to go ahead and show us how to do it.
All right, Pat did a nice job on it. I want him to explain to you the application of the base coat. It's different when you're doing the three-stage pearls because they want that bottom base coat color to set up. That way that pearl is gonna be on top and not sink in. So let them know about the application of that. So on the ground coat, you wanna do your coat and a half and let it flash. And then you wanna come in and do your coat and a half of pearl and let that flash. And then usually if you do a spread out card, you can look at it. If it does need a little bit more pearl, it's just a half a coat, flash it, you should be good to go. All right, so we've now done most of the colors. We did some nice hard metallics. We've done some pearls. We've done some regular blacks and darker colors. You guys wanted to see the pearl and I wanted the man himself to show you guys how it is. We're gonna go ahead now, let that flash and we'll be back in there for the pearl. And then I'm gonna clear this one. So I hope he didn't get a lot of dirt. You guys see that I let him use my, <laughs> my gun for the wet bed. That might've helped him out, but the clear is gonna be on me. So I'm hoping he's not letting a lot of dirt off of him. So just kidding. So let's get in there and let him pearl it. All right, so you've seen that. Pat laid it down beautifully. He, he let the uh, base coat flash, and then he went back in and hit it with a one and a half coat of the pearl. We did a spray out card. I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. The color looks beautiful, and uh, he did a heck of a job on it. So now it's up to me to finish the job out and see if I can live up to the man himself, old Pat, by laying the clear down. So let's go ahead and we'll put a quick coat of clear on it, and we'll show you this job finished up.
Not bad for two old guys. So between Pat and myself laying out the clear, the job came out nice. There is some chips that was a damaged hood, but we have to do our job correctly and blend it out and make a nice job with it. So not bad working together on that one. Came out nice. So that's gonna be the ending of this here job. You guys see how the uh, three stage is going. I'm gonna take the cart over to the car, show you that now. Make sure you guys hit subscribe. We'll see you next week and we're gonna finish out this whole series next week. So we'll see you guys on the next one.